This is a TVZ here, and I'm basically going to show how to deal with an all-in. So this is a good player, uh, gold or platinum. He's not like he's a master's level, but he's really good. You know, mid mid league. Um, and uh, the key to scouting all-ins, uh, it's the same every time. It's to know it's coming. It's the scouting, most important thing. If you don't know it's coming. Uh, it's such a polarizing build, it's so hard to stop. So, I'm going to scout. So, okay. I see a gas. And the spawning pool is pretty close to done. That's like a big, big indicator that there's going to be pressure right away. Then the indicator that it's an all-in is that there's no hatch. So I go back to my thing, I see a, a guy, I want to shoo him away, Upgrade complete. and I get a bunker on the high ground. There's still no hatch being taken, and I see I quickly thought about putting my command center here, because you want your second command center to get ahead in the econ, and then I thought about it very quickly and said, you know what, better here. It's scarier to him to see a command center being done because it means I'm going to be way, way ahead in his econ. It means it forces him to be more all-in-ish. And it's a gigantic wall. The thing has so many hit points. So that thing has 1,500 hit points. So now I want to get my gas. I want to get another barracks. And I want to continue building the wall. So the key to continue building the wall is buildings I'm gonna want to use in the near term. Okay, I'm gonna scout and see what type of all-in is it. Is it a roach or is it a bane? So it's a lot of lings, booyah, bane ling nest, that's a bane all ling. You can probably tell it's a lot of, it's a bane ling all in anyway just by the lings, but I got a good scout off. So get another gas. Now I need to continue building the wall. I need to have a two-tier wall. So there's an eBay. So that will block in this area and then there's a supply depot that will block in this area so I have a two tier wall he'd have to break that and that so now it's just a matter of holding the next thing I'm gonna wanna do get my orbital uh, get some units put them in a bunker get a t get a factory which is gonna allow me to get tanks so Bane, Bane hit one comes prepared. Build another wall and one mistake, I should have been repairing this as well. So that's a mistake right there. It's got down to 600 so that's an important thing to keep in mind. Get a tech lab on this. Okay, send one marine out to fight and kill a couple banelings. It takes two banelings to kill them. That's two less that will hit my wall and kill my units. And it's worth it. Put another one out there. Um, and then get a tech lab instead of a reactor for my all in for my two base aggression. I want a tank to stop the banelings. Let everybody out. Get a starport. Get an armory for my push. And here comes a really strong push. Kills one building, kills a second building, gets my factory, and gets my uh, barracks. And this gets really low. It gets down to like 15 health. And he says, LOL, that's bullshit. But, you know, he's all inning me, so pretty much it's his bullshit, not mine. Build another bunk barracks, build another supply depot, and just make sure I'm good. And then I'm going to get ready to take my second base, get more gas, and uh, push out. My uh, two base timing is going to be delayed because I was preventing it all in. But, as you can see, he's on one base. He's just getting his second base. He's got a couple lings couple more to try to keep me off my natural which is not gonna happen for very long and yeah I'm gonna push out but I don't know that if he has banes or just two lings down there so I'm being cautious my tanks almost done so I'm gonna build two more barracks and wait for my tank put my tank here it's got very good range and I'm gonna push out 
Now it's just a matter of taking my natural, bringing my marine into range, killing that ling, building a bunker. He actually does have two lings hanging out there, so I have to cancel the bunker. And now I'm just going to go out and take my base. Just being a little extra cautious, because he's so all in. I can really only lose to something ridiculous. I have a lot of extra minerals, so I build five turrets. I build extra barracks. I build extra bunkers. I just keep building stuff, build supply depots, because I'm so far ahead. And I don't want to just rush out now and equalize the disadvantage he's at and the advantage I'm at. I want to take him out. So, start muling. If you look at the econ, he's now up to 35 to 32, but he had no econ for quite a while, and he spent all of his larvae building drones, so he can't build units right now. Switch these out. I had some problems with my switching. He tries to come in, he says my wall is open, but he's being cheeky because he knows he's lost, and that even getting through my wall, he's dying to my units. So I just keep doing my macro, keep getting turrets, I say thanks, just after when I'm ready, on my time. And uh, now, I'm going to get my ready, I'm going to get some more turrets, get some more add-ons, get some more upgrades. My units are at plus one, plus zero, and I've got armor on the way, I've got hellbats on the way, marines and marauders on the way. And I'm going to leave my tank at home for defense. I'm going to push out. Good micro is important here. Take out his third, which literally just dropped. Kill it. Can't be stopped. <coughs> and then he's, I see the mutas. So I want to pull my marines back, but then when I see the mutas, it's a little, it's a little dancing game. I want the marines to shoot the mutas, but I want my tanking units in front. So I... I assumed those Banes were going to come, but they didn't. So I didn't put my, pull my Marines in, attack, and then I have to pull my Marines back. Everything dies on my Marauders and Hellbats. My Hellbats being healed. My Marines are killing the Muters. He saved the Muters because he wants to do a double push. As soon as, uh, basically, these Lings pop. But he's not going to have time. Oh, no, he, he, he's dead. I killed the base. The lings didn't make it. So I run in, I run back, I mac micro a little bit. They get a surround on one of my marauders. All the mutas die. I have units streaming across the map. 135 supply to 31 supply. This game is over. GG. Unit lost, 10,000 to 2,000, so way over like five times, five times basically. So in the resources lost tab. So that was a really, uh, that's how you basically hold an all-in. You scout it and you uh, effectively counter specifically what you're dealing with, mains in this case, by over-protecting. I over-over-protect. Let's take a quick look at that match. So, um, workers active. Look at how low his workers are compared to mine. Yeah, he makes a bunch right there, but it's not going to be effective yet. Because um, if you look here at the resource collection rate, I'm way ahead. And this was uh, me doing some stuff. But anyway, I'm way, way ahead this whole time. And... I was moving out, so I wasn't really dealing my macro at this point, and this was game over. Army value, just off the charts compared to his. He kept losing value over and over again. So this shows that on that weak economy, you're going to really be able to blast through very quickly. But I just played it smart and just took it step by step.